What's up guys, it's Henry here again and welcome back to another episode of Apparel Academy. Now I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back now with another episode and a topic that I believe you'll definitely like. So if you've been following us recently, you probably have heard of our newest launch for the white toner transfer printer, the Luminaris 200 that we just launched last month. Since the launch of that new printer, I've been getting a lot of questions from viewers asking us to compare the differences between a white toner transfer printer versus other apparel decoration methods like direct to garment printing. So today I'll be breaking down for you the three major considerations to keep in mind when deciding whether to go with a two-step heat transfer method using white toner transfer printer versus direct to garment printing and deciding which one fits best for your business. All right guys, before we jump in, if you're new here for the very first time, this channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about the apparel decoration industry and how to succeed in this business. So before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified as soon as new videos come out. And make sure to give this video a quick thumbs up if you enjoy content like this, as it greatly helps out this channel. All right, so with that being said, let's first dive into an overview of the two apparel decoration methods that we're comparing today. So the two-step heat transfer printing method is a type of printing method that you can achieve with a white white toner transfer printers such as the one that we just launched, the Luminaris 200. So I'll quickly break down for you the different steps in this two-step heat transfer method using white toner transfer printing. The first step is to actually print your design onto a transparent sheet of paper using the white toner transfer printer. Next, you actually marry the design to an adhesive sheet to create your final transfer sheet. We typically call this the A and B paper. Next, you will heat transfer the design onto a substrate using a heat press. And when I say substrates, it could be t-shirts, mugs, and other types of materials that you're transferring onto. Next, after you've transferred the design onto the substrate using the heat press, you will then remove the transfer sheet by peeling it away from the substrate. Finally, you will cure the design using a heat press so it sticks to the substrate. Now that's a quick overview of what the two-step heat transfer method looks like, but a lot of people ask, why can't I just do this with a regular printer? And the quick answer is, while you could use a regular printer to print onto transfer sheets and then transfer them onto substrates, it is better to use a white toner transfer printer for this method because of the fact that the printer is able to print white and therefore makes your design pop more on light and dark garments. The white toner also acts as a layer of adhesive that makes the design able to stick to the substrate better. Imagine printing onto a dark t-shirt. If you're not able to have white as the background behind your colored designs, your colors won't really pop and they'll get kind of faded and blended into the actual dark t-shirt. That's why using a white toner transfer printer is so powerful because of the ability to print white and therefore make your designs pop on dark surfaces. By the way, if you're interested, check out the Luminaris 200, the white toner transfer printer that we just launched. Make sure to check it out in the link below. I put it in the description so you can contact our team and get more information on it. So now that we cover what is a two-step heat transfer method using white toner transfer printing, let's go on to covering what is direct-to-garment printing and what the process is like there. DTG, or direct-to-garment printing, is exactly what it sounds like. You are printing a design directly onto a substrate, such as a t-shirt. You can achieve this with a direct-to-garment printer, such as the Ricoh RI1000 that we sell here at Ricoma. So the process for direct to garment printing is a little bit different and I'll give a quick breakdown here. First and foremost, before you print on a t-shirt, you would need to treat it with pretreatment liquid. This is a type of chemical that is sprayed onto t-shirts and different substrates so that the DTG ink is able to bond with the actual substrate. So after you've coated your garment with pretreatment liquid, next you insert the garment into the DDG machine and load the design so it can print directly onto the garment. This direct to garment printing process is rather quick, and in fact the RI1000 can actually print full color designs in as little as 28 seconds onto a white t-shirt. Finally, after the design has finished printing, you go ahead and put it under the heat press again to cure the ink so that it stays more permanently onto the t-shirt. Now, because of how quick and simple the process is with direct-to-garment printing, it has actually become quite popular in recent years, even though it's a relatively new printing method. Now, you'll need several different items to complete the DTG printing process. As I mentioned before, you not only need the DTG printer itself, but also a heat press to cure the designs, as well as pre-treatment liquid to be able to pre-treat the shirts before you start printing. Luckily, all of those items are included in our all-inclusive Rico RI1000 package that we sell here at Ricoma. So if you're interested to check out DTG printing, make sure to check it out in the link that I put down below and you can get in contact with our team to learn more. Now that we covered an overview of what a two-step heat transfer method looks like as well as DTG printing, now let's dive into the different considerations to keep in mind when comparing the pros and cons of each method. So the first category that we'll compare between these two methods is quality. Now, quality also breaks down into several subcategories, including the durability of the design, the feel, and the vibrancy of the design. So 
So first off, I would say that the feel is going to be slightly different for white toner heat transfer printing. The reason being, you're actually using a layer of paper and transferring the design on top of your garment. So after your transfer is done, when you run your fingers through the actual design, you will actually feel an added layer on top of your actual garment. On the other hand, with direct-to-garment printing, because you're actually printing directly onto the garment itself, the actual ink becomes a more permanent part of the fabric. So while the ink used in direct-to-garment printing doesn't actually infuse itself with the fabric you're printing on, it does have a much smoother feel compared to white toner transfer printing. Now one pro tip that I will give you when using the two-step heat transfer printing method is that you can actually cure your design more than once under a heat press to get rid of the glossiness of the transfer. Next, let's compare the durability of both methods. With DTG printing, it can definitely last quite a bit in the wash, sometimes up to 40 to 50 washes, provided that you have actually pre-treated the garment properly. Again, if you recall back to what I explained earlier, the pre-treatment process is super important in order for the DDG ink to stick to the garment and adhere to it. On the other hand, with the two-step heat transfer method using white toner transfer printing, the durability is still comparable to direct -to garment but I would say that it's a little bit less given the fact that you are adding an extra layer of transfer on top of the garment itself. If you didn't do the transfer process properly, such as marrying the A and B sheets or peeling the design incorrectly when transferring onto the t-shirt, that could cause some early peeling or fading in the actual design and not cause it to last as long. Another pro tip that I will give you when using two-step heat transfer printing is to use a process called rasterization. Rasterization is actually a feature that's included in most design softwares, as well as the RIP software that we have here that's included with your white toner transfer package. But essentially, it allows your garment to be more breathable. It allows your design to be more breathable in the wash and therefore not have as much damage from the water in the wash cycle. This really allows your design to be more durable and can last longer and more washes if you use this method. Finally, in this category of quality, let's compare the vibrancy and color of DTG versus two-step heat transfer. There's virtually no difference between either method as they can both print full color, vibrant, colorful designs. All right, so moving on to the second category of variety. What kind of substrate can you print on using DTG versus two-step heat transfer? So starting off with direct-to-garment printing, because you're printing directly onto the garment itself, you can only be able to print onto substrates that are flat and can fit into the printer. This is why DTG printing is typically used for garments only, like t-shirts, face masks, you can print on socks using different platens, as well as hoodies or polo shirts. Essentially anything that's flat and it's able to fit underneath the DTG head onto the platen. On the on the other hand, two-step heat transfer printing using white toner transfer printer is actually a lot less limiting in terms of the variety of substrates that you can transfer onto. This is because the printer itself actually just prints a design and you're more limited by what can fit under a heat press versus what can fit inside the printer. But luckily, there's a variety of heat presses that are able to accommodate different types of materials. For example, there's the flat heat press, which can do anything flat, like the t-shirts and the hoodies and everything else that I mentioned. Then you have all this other variety of heat presses such as the hat heat press that you can transfer designs onto caps or the plate press or even a mug press. So in this category of variety, the two-step heat transfer method definitely wins out on this one because of the fact that you're able to have a lot more offerings because you can have a variety of heat presses that you can use to transfer your designs onto different substrates. Now in terms of the type of materials that you can print onto using these two methods, both are virtually equal in this category. Both direct-to-garment printing and two-step heat transfer can be used on dark and light surfaces, unlike sublimation. Both DDG and the two-step heat transfer can also be used on cotton and polyester surfaces alike, unlike sublimation. So the conclusion here is, while both can print on dark, light, polyester, or cotton materials, DDG is a little bit more limiting because it can only print on flat surfaces, while the two-step heat transfer method is a lot more versatile. Now the last category that we'll be comparing is quantity. Now let's face it, because we're in this for a profit, we're looking to run this as a business, the production level and the quantity of print per a given time frame is important to determine which method best suit your needs. To start off, DDG printing is a lot more streamlined and it's very conducive for bulk orders. You can queue up a bunch of orders in the RIP software and as I mentioned before, each print can be relatively quick in under 30 seconds for a white t-shirt and probably under a minute or two for a dark t-shirt. A lot of shops will use DTG printing for these full color vibrant designs and even be able to keep up with bulk orders using direct to garment. Two-step heat transfer printing method using white toner transfer printing is a little bit more time consuming because of the fact that you need to print a new transfer sheet for every design. 
You simply can't load up the design inside the printer and have it continuously print as long as you load a shirt on there. Instead, you have to have a new transfer sheet for every print, and you have to go through the manual process of doing that heat transfer onto the substrate. Now, both of these methods are very good for one-off orders also, something that's on demand. Both DTG and white toner transfer printing can be quite conducive for small one-off orders because of the fact that you can easily switch designs between runs. So in conclusion, direct-to-garment printing is probably a little bit more efficient in printing bulk orders while either method is equally efficient at printing small orders and quite flexible in that matter. So with all that being said, you kind of know the differences between DTG and two-step heat transfer using white toner transfer printing. Now I kind of want to give a final breakdown of the cost of investment for each method and what the ongoing cost is per print. So to start off with direct-to-garment printers, they probably range from 13 to 14,000 on the lower end to up to 20 to 22,000 on the higher end. In terms of the DDG average cost of print, for white garments, probably around 50 cents to a dollar per print. So in terms of average cost of print on dark t-shirts, it will typically average between $1.25 to maybe $3. Again, that range is a little bit wider because it really depends on your type of design and how large and vibrant that design is. But generally speaking, you will expect higher cost per print on darker garments versus white garments. Next, you need to consider the pre-treatment liquid cost per t-shirt. Typically, that averages out to be about 50 cents per print. Finally, in terms of the average cost for blank garments for DTG printing, it will typically average to about $3 a t-shirt on wholesale prices, and that could be a little bit higher if you decide to go with a pre-treated t-shirt so you don't have to pre-treat it on your own. Now, in terms of profit potential for DTG printing, for each t-shirt that you print, you can probably sell it for about $25 or even higher because DTG printing is seen as a premium because of the feel, it's much smoother, and it lasts a little bit longer in the wash. Now, on the other hand, to get started with two steps heat transfer method using white toner transfer printer, a white toner transfer printer typically costs around four to seven thousand dollars depending on the package that you get. So right away you can see that the upfront investment cost is a little bit lower but again there's quite a bit of difference as I mentioned before between both methods so you have to take that into consideration as well. For white toner heat transfer printing the biggest cost is going to be your transfer paper. As I mentioned before, for two-step heat transfer printing, you will need two sheets of paper, the A paper and the B paper, or otherwise known as the transparent sheet and the adhesive sheet. The transparent sheet will probably cost you around 80 cents to a dollar, and the adhesive sheet is typically about a dollar to two dollars. So altogether, to complete a full-size print, your transparent and adhesive sheets will cost you around two to three dollars per print. Next, the toner itself that goes into printing the design is actually a very minuscule cost. It comes out to average about 10 cents per print because toner is actually quite cheap and cheaper than ink. Finally, the cost of the blank garment is rather the same versus DDG, about $3 on average if you buy it at wholesale prices. So with white toner heat transfer printing, you can probably sell a same size full color design versus DTG, but a little bit lower. So you can probably average around $20 per t-shirt versus the 25 that I mentioned before for DTG printing. Again, this is to compensate for the fact that white toner heat transfer printing is a little bit different of a feel than DTG. It's not as adhered to the garment and infused within the garment itself versus DTG. So there you have it guys, a detailed breakdown between these two methods and what are the differences between them. I really hope that this helps you in choosing what is the best fit for your business. Now, I do want to end this video by saying this. While we did do a detailed breakdown between these two methods, really they are complementary to each other and not meant to be a replacement of the other. In fact, we've seen a lot of custom apparel decoration shops actually use both methods within one shop. The reason being, you are really using the white toner heat transfer printer for more variety and flexibility while using DTG printing for vibrant, colorful prints directly onto the garment that can last a long time. In the end, it's definitely helpful to get educated on what these two methods are and how the process works behind each of them. In fact, many people use this concurrently in their shop because they want to offer that one-stop shopping experience to their customers. Because if a customer comes in and wants to print on the brim of a cap, you can't really do that with a DTG printer, but you could achieve that flexibility with a white tuna transfer printer. On the other hand, if the customer is really picky about the feel of the actual design on the garment, DTG printing is probably the best route to go because it has a much smoother finish. You can also set up direct to garment printing for bulk orders while having a white toner transfer printer for small, personalized, and customized orders. 
A lot of our customers that have both methods under one roof really get the best of both worlds. They capitalize on the smoother finish of the DDG and the speed and quality of the DDG versus the variety that they get with white toner transfer printing. In the end, you really can't go wrong with either method. It just really depends on your business needs because both can give you high quality prints that you can sell at a premium. By the way, if you're curious to see how fast the process is like with printing a t-shirt using DDG printer versus a white toner transfer printer, let us know down in the comments below and we might do a future episode on that comparing the two methods speed on printing a t-shirt using the same exact shirt and same exact design. All right, so that's it for us for today, guys. I hope you found that information helpful. If you did, give this video a quick thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you get notified as soon as new videos are released. If you're interested to learn more about apparel decoration in general, make sure to join our free Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, where there's now over 20,000 embroiderers and apparel decorators in there sharing their tips and tricks and you can join in on the conversation. We also have a full blog post written comparing these various printing methods. So if you want to check that out, I put that in the link below. Last but not least, make sure to follow us on all the social channels down below. We're pretty active on Instagram. We post there daily as well as on TikTok for some entertaining stuff. And of course, on Facebook as well. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and see you guys next time.